<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hello, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and with me today is Stuart and he's a vegan from Geelong which is in um, Victoria in Australia. How are you, Stu? Good, good. I'm happier, well, happier. Today is my um, second um, anniversary of being vegan, so it's Pretty appropriate, appropriate for uh, this interview. Yeah, yeah, very, very well, appropriate. I'm glad that we finally got to do the interview today. Then, so I'm glad it happened on your second year anniversary. That's really yeah. good. Yeah, and you just um, tweeted me about that this morning, didn't you? Yeah, um, I think I included you and the uh, Vegan um, Twitter handle. Um, mm -hmm. I think about two hours ago mm -hmm. and because I'm always up during the night. Um, but, yeah, I'm very excited. It's been a long road. Yeah, so very... congratulations. Thank you. What, have you. what have you learned in two years? Uh, um, <laughs> I think it's a really hard question to answer in the morning. Um, but I think mainly to – Except that some people don't understand maybe what a vegan is. Mm. I've got a few friends who think, like, legit think all I eat is tofu and that's <laughs> it. You know, like, just like tofu dogs, tofu burgers. I love tofu burgers. Um, tofu is tofu that, just <laughs> the furniture's tofu, everything. Um, but that would be yeah. quite boring. Yeah, that, that that would be. Um, and I'm, I'm one, I'm I'm per, I'm a guy who believes that if you can find something you love and connect that with your beliefs, then the chances are better off down the road. And that's what I've always done. Mm -hmm. um, around my room, I'm not going to move or anything because I'm terrified too. Mm -hmm. um, but. I've got plenty of um, vegan shoes. I think oh, like six pairs at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, they're all like from like band shoes um, that mm -hmm. I've loved over the years. So um, bands have certain shoes with their branding on it. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, like the Misfits. I think I collaborated with uh, the shoe company Draven. Mm -hmm. um, not their entire shoe company is vegan. Mm -hmm. And, um, well, shoe line, I mean. Um, and there's a, quite a few um, driving shoes with the band logos okay, on cool. them, like um, Motley Crue, strangely enough, um, Slipknot. Mm -hmm. um, I, think I, I saw a pair of Six Pistols shoes, which I'm going to get as soon as I get some money. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, I, you know, I like to stand out. Um but, you know, my favourite band, AFI, I don't know if anyone would be able to see this, but uh, AFI, Todo, uh, no, the body really is, yeah, my, the room in my room is absolutely terrible. <laughs> um, but, um, so what, yeah, do, the, what do AFI mean to you, the band? Oh, God. That's, I really don't get that question a lot, to be honest. People just <laughs> know I like AFI and they go, eh, whatever. Um <laughs> Well, I but, know how much of a fan you are, so they must yeah. mean something quite a lot to you. Um, I, if I, um, a far inside, the complete name. Okay. Um, they're a band who, of four guys, Dave Havit, hence the Havit part of my Twitter handle. Mm -hmm. Um, Jade Puget. Uh, Adam Carson and Hunter Bergen um, just wanted to start a band because they love music and they weren't trying to emulate anyone else. Mm -hmm. Although they've, throughout their careers, well, the career of AFI, they've <coughs> um, managed, like, they've done covers for a lot of songs and they've introduced me unwittingly to a lot of bands like The Cure, mm -hmm. Misfits, Depeche Mode, um, Rancid, obviously, um, mm -hmm. and... <clears throat> they're 
not a band who tries to they're not a band who got to a certain point they got to a certain point but they didn't alienate their fans as much as some people might try and tell you different mm -hmm. um but they're a band who um you know loves their fans truly mm -hmm. i know every, i know every band does but i've there's been a few bands who've gotten to a certain point they're like well yeah yeah and um, the the people who want to put our records out and what people who want to you know people higher up are yeah. pretty much our biggest fans now so uh but oh far it's just an amazing band live i've mm -hmm. seen live twice yep um both in the same week amazingly enough mm -hmm. um but yeah, they're yeah you know, they're a band who loves what they do. They don't. Um, they're not a band who I guess relies on labels. Um, you know, I mean, lead singer Davey is a vegan. Has been for close to twenty years, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Hunter, the bassist, is a vegan as well, and Adam and Jade are vegetarian. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, yeah, so I, I, Davy, um, I actually tweeted to her earlier. Um, it was about two in the morning, mm -hmm. um, and thanked him for inspiration. Whether or not he replied, who knows? Um, mm -hmm. But so, did he know, inspire you to go vegan in the first place? Yeah, I, it wasn't just him solely. Um, I remember. Um, I really, I really tell this story. Um, I was on Facebook. Um, shows how long ago this was. Um, uh, I think it, about almost three years ago now. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was talking to this lady, this young lady by the name of Rory, and she had a like her Facebook name was Sweet and Tender Hooligans, which is a song by the Smiths. Mm -hmm. Um, and we connected on, well, became friends over Facebook through, um, common interests like wrestling, um, with, with both straight edge. Um, and so she said, well, all right, we, we can be friends. Like if, if you want, if you don't mind me, um, putting all my vegan stuff up. <coughs> You know, that's showing up in your feed and whatnot. Mm. Right. It's your Facebook, do what you want. Um, as, long as, you're not, as long as you're not selling me nuts of propaganda, I don't really care. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I, I remember she posted something, I think, um, about, if I remember correctly, um, something about Chinese, small, like, tiny, no, it's not weird. Um, young Chinese girls when they're under the age of 10 being forced to do like slave labor mm -hmm. and like in their bikinis or stuff like that, like skin animals alive and stuff oh, like God. that. It's like, really horrific. Mm. And I remember um, she got a lot of response from posting that and I thought, well, this is what happens to animals. I don't mm. want any part of that. And I, that was like, I've known a lot of people over the years who are. Um, vegan and so that's always been there but that was really when it got like the um trying to thought i guess mm. um to think well okay you know animals deserve a life as well mm. and um so it wasn't until um like november that year i remember sitting outside um, like my house at one thirty in the morning, this small, humble two room apartment flat unit, mm -hmm. most of it's two box. Um, but, um, I, mum and I were watching soccer, so with my mum, obviously, um, we're both huge English Premier League fans. Mm -hmm. And, um, I remember sitting outside with my cat, um, well, not my cat, apparently, it's going into a neighbour, um, but we are like, sitting out there and I remember thinking, like, I lived the same life for so long and 
I was going off to TAFE the next year. I was just like, you know, completely reinvent my life. Mm-hmm. So I, um, I remember thinking, well, you know, I wanted to, I mean, <laughs> perfect world, I wanted to go vegan like that. Mm. But I, like, I actually tried, I think, about the beginning of March the next year. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had gradually tried to cut out meat from my eating habits. Mm-hmm. And so um, I, I tried to go straight vegan without the gradual process. Mm-hmm. My body just went into overshock overnight, mm-hmm. or aftershock, I think. Um, so I went back to meat for like two weeks after that and then like he went – a couple of days later, I remember going vegetarian mm-hmm. mid March um, 2012, and I think it was like vegetarian for like three months, maybe two and a half, give or take. Um, mm-hmm. And I remember April 30th, um, which coincidentally is, was a Wednesday as we are on now. Um, the, I, I was eating a lot of um, vegan products, like all the fries range, which I really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Um, their mushroom pies are just amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember my body receiving it really well, and I remember thinking, well, I mean, I, I, I was going to go vegan on my birthday that year, and so it could be something I remember. Um, I thought, well, you know, why not now? Mm. And so ever since then, it's um, like I've been vegan. I've just tried to cut out. I mean, I cut out all animal products, eating wise. But yeah. over time, I um, tried to cut out as much as I could until I could completely do it. Um, the wearing and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was vegan in the food sense. Yeah. Um, um, which I tried to tell people. I didn't want to tell people I was 100% vegan when it, it appeared that I wasn't. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, and I remember um, my birthday that year, I got to go to Melbourne. Um, well, I was planning on going anyway. Um, and I went to <clears throat> the now closed um, Radical Grocery Store in Melbourne, which is amazing. And if it wasn't for that store, we wouldn't have. Well, I mean, we might, but it wouldn't have had the effect um, that has had since it opened. Um, like, you know, the cool to free shop, we got Mad Cowgirls Vegan Grocery in, um, I think it's like Preston. Um, mm. So we've got it. <clears throat> and I remember walking in that store um, <clears throat> September 10. 2012, mm-hmm. which is my birthday, so I put that out there in case anyone remembers. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, I remember walking there just buying, like, as much stuff as I possibly could, and I thought, well, finally, I found a place where mm-hmm. I can actually um, be accepted. And, you know, from there, everything's just taken off. And I, I think <clears throat> the best way... Um, for new vegetarians or vegans to really embrace it and make sure they stay on that path is to just get out and travel. Like, I'm not, mm. I mean, you don't have to get out and get on a plane and just land in any city. It's like, yeah, look up on the net, go, okay, well, I've got this here, i got that there, um, mm. um, all the way over here. Um, and a lot of the time, doing it by yourself is probably, um, I don't know, I, I don't, know, I don't want to say it's a rite of passage, mm-hmm. but it's more, um, more human growth, you know, you, can, yeah. you think, okay, okay, if I can do this by myself, mm-hmm. sometimes I'm going to be alone in my beliefs and this, the, um, no, Best way for me to go here and for me to go there, and it's how I've 
that's how I've always done it. Like, mm. if I, you know, because a lot of the food I like is, I mean, I'm, I eat a lot healthier than I did back then. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, I, if I want something that's vegan that's not here, I'm just going, well, okay, I won't, wait until payday and go and that builds the excitement and then you think, mm. okay, well, you know, I mean, that day I found Lush, um, found other places, mm. uh, <laughs> and it's, you know, you find all these places where people go, oh, yeah, vegan, wow, well, that's great, and then you think, yeah, And you can meet new people too. Yeah, and then, you know, people go, wow, that, that guy came all the way from, you know, Sleepy Hollow, and, um, which is what people call this town. So how um, far are you from Melbourne, the main city? Uh, well, it depends how you travel, really. By I mean, train? You, how far by train? Uh, uh, there now. Mm-hmm. Isn't bad. Yep. Um, I think it's a bit quicker when they do express, yep. which, I mean, you got to really pick your train to actually go by express. Mm-hmm. Um, but by car... I guess it really depends how fast you're travelling. But by train, how I always, how I always go, mm-hmm. um, it's <clears throat> about an hour, which is a, the time goes really quick. Mm. Um, but it's, it's always fun going up there. And I'll be going up Saturday to, yeah. um, to volunteer for Animal Liberation Victoria oh, um, for their um, vegan bake sale. Oh, cool. Where are they having yeah. that? Um the, I think it's like the Eco Centre in, okay. um, in St Kilda. Mm-hmm. It's going to be really exciting. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. That's, I'm on the committee it. of the um, Worldwide Vegan Bake Sale, actually. Really? Hmm. Yeah. And you do um, a lot of other volunteering as well. I know with Animals Australia, you do a lot with them. Um, yeah, I, I did. I'm taking a break from there. Mm. Um, we're taking a break from each other. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I just needed, I had to focus on some other stuff, so I thought no, the door was up, doors always open for me to come back, but I just wanted to, you know. Maybe try another group. group. Yeah, mm. um, and I've been wanting to volunteer. Oops, I think we just lost you there, Stu. Okay, so I'm talking to Stuart. Um, he's a vegan from Geelong. So um, I've got Stu back now. I don't know what happened there. But um, Stuart, do you want to maybe speak about um, straight edge? Mm. What? Um, tell me, what is vegan straight edge? Uh, well, in my opinion, I don't think uh, there's no correlation between the two, I, don't, I think, okay. um, well, from my point of view anyway, um, I think <clears throat> um, in the late, well, mid to late 80s, um, a band, one of my favourite bands, um, Minor Threat, um, <clears throat> Stop, uh, they made a song called Straight Edge and that's what um, started the whole movement and in the late, I, Early nineties, it was a rebel like this move, like vegan movement, and people thought people saw Stradage as you know obviously no usage of cigarettes, or drugs, alcohol, and so I thought as an extension of that um, to abolish animal products as well, and then you know from then people just took on. Like the vegan and straight edge, um, but <clears throat> to me, straight edge is. I mean, it's not. I don't know if it's necessarily movement. It's supposed to depend on who you talk to. Um, and where you are. <laughs> well, where I am, yeah, it's not a movement here. Um, <laughs> um, but you know, it's it's more about um, having. Re- I think respect for yourself, mm-hmm. um, obviously. Um, I remember seeing so much, so much 
stuff regarding alcohol and drugs and cigarettes and whatnot, um, that made me think, I don't, you know, I don't want any part of that. And I've never liked alcohol, mm-hmm. um, you know, anyway. I mean, I, I have had alcohol a few times um, throughout my life, but um, so I've only been straight edge for about, well, I've only claimed it for about four or five years now. Mm-hmm. But um, to me, it's, it's the right choice, one well, well, with veganism. Um, but I, you know, I, I know a lot of people who smoke, I know a lot of people who, um, <clears throat> who drink and whatnot, and all the other stuff. Um, I, I, you know, like, um, veganism, I always try to see other, see it from other people's point of view. Mm. Um, or, the more I try to, well, if, the more I try to make other people see that drinking is wrong, cigarettes are wrong, drugs are wrong, whatever. Um, and as an extension of that, to make them think eating animals is wrong mm-hmm. from and make it their fault, I think, is a um, wrong move. Yeah. Um, and... I think, you know, I mean, strategy, I mean, it's not, it's not a, you know, it's not gender specific. I mean, I've got a few female friends who are strategy as well. Um, it's, you know, you don't have to be a certain age, you don't have mm-hmm. to be um, certain someone, you know, like, you don't have to be part of the hardcore punk scene, you don't have to be part of this, you don't have mm. to be part of that. Um can just be something you do to like for you and to go oh, okay like like if you know, losing your house or whatever and everything else is what happens to you when you drink I'm, mm. I don't want to drink if you know what happens to you when you do drugs I don't even have to go into that um yeah it's I mean I I'm not going to, the last thing I am is preachy. Like, mm. I don't I like to say, I don't like to preach anything to anyone. I think if you're doing it for you, then that naturally shows anyway. Um, but it's, you know, more, more just self-belief, you know. Um, if, you know, someone's a little different, to not let, uh, to not worry about what society says. Mm. To um, like it's up to you. Yeah, you know, you know, do what you want to do. And yeah, you know, I've always taken that mantra on. And hey, I'm a guy who. It's one of my favourite sayings. I'm a guy who feels if I'm not getting something I need from somewhere to me, I don't cry about it. I just go, well, okay, I'm going to go over here and, you know, get what I need from there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the whole, you know, I've never um, found the, I've never found drug use anything other than immoral and, okay, now, and now I am being pretty. Um, <laughs> but, <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I I just find it distasteful, and mm. you know, there's you know, like um, Toby Morse, lead singer of Hope to Borrow, um, mm. great band. Um, <clears throat> he goes around the schools and uh, in America and whatever, and talks to high school students about you know the <clears throat> importance of PMA, which is positive mental attitude and the importance what well, the importance of that attached to high school life. Mm-hmm. Um, because teenage years as people have said, well, as the old saying goes, teenage years are the most important. And so um, the he goes around, you know, he talks to high school students and he tells them 
you can achieve anything you want with a positive mindset and a positive mm-hmm. attitude and a positive mentality. And he's always, um, you know, him and David have each other good friends, so there's a lot of correlation with that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, there's, you know, it's more um, just believing you can achieve, you know, so, you know, an undergraduate, undergraduation, post-grad, yeah. um, degree, bachelor, whatever else, whatever else you want to achieve, you can do it through positive mental attitude without the need of, um, you know, And without drugs. the need for alcohol or drugs. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so I think that that's what I always try and <clears throat> tell people um, when they go, well, yeah, don't, don't you, you know, you, don't you miss meat or don't mm. you miss this? And, you know, the old common vegan questions, <laughs> that, um, you know, like anti-vegan questions, I guess, um, that we get. But, um, you know, I, I mean, I love a lot of film stars a lot of that are vegetarian and vegan. I'm, one of my favourite film stars is Linda Blair, who was mm-hmm. the star of The, the Exorcist. Scariest. Yeah, greatest mm. horror, well, one of the greatest horror movies of all time. I think Halloween may be better. I love but that I'm book by. too, the Exorcist book. It's really well written. I haven't I haven't read the book. I've been yeah, you meaning it. to. I've been meaning to find it somewhere and mm. give it a read because I. I know I've heard that it's a lot more, well, maybe not a lot more, a bit more extensive. In the mm. movie, and it's like, well, they can actually deal with the book than mm-hmm. they do with the movie. But, um, yeah, Linda Blair has been vegan for you know, close to 30 odd years now. Mm. Um, and I got the chance to meet her okay. last year. That was really cool. When she came down for, I think, like the 40th anniversary of The Exorcist. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, and that's what I was talking about before we got cut off. Um, the connect what I love into what I believe and the more I do that and the more I think anyone else does that like um, I know 30 Sings to Mars is a you know one of the mainstream popular bands mm-hmm. they're a really good band um, Jared Leto the lead singer is devout vegan has been for years um, so <clears throat> I think people like him um, are pretty good People, I guess, to illustrate in the mainstream society that veganism, I mean, I don't know, well, he's 42, but mm-hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm never going to look that good at 42. <laughs> but he I is look lovely like looking. <laughs> I, I look like this now and I'm 23. Um, <laughs> Did you but, see that the um, documentary Artifact I, about his I, hand? Um, I've, I've heard a lot about it. It's really good, really, really, really uh, good about him, uh, how 30 Seconds to Mars took EMI to to court um, because they believed that they owed $30 million to them or something. It's really amazing, yeah. really good sort of, um, I think people that maybe you want to make money from the music industry or in, or in the music industry, I think they really need to see it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I've heard it's I've heard it's amazing. Um, mm, it's really good. And the um and speaking of podcasts, um, I was listening to Jared on the podcast because I was hoping he'd mention vegan something at least, but mm-hmm. um, I don't think there's any mention of it at all, unfortunately. Um, he was on the Nerdist podcast with Chris Hardwick, which mm-hmm. is another probably my favorite podcast apart from this one, obviously. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Um, um, but yeah, he he was on there talking about artifact and um, how musicians get paid this. When I did some research, I think about a month ago, that like musicians wouldn't get paid anything in the nineteen fifties. Like if you were so like you were a band starting out, you wouldn't get paid anything mm. until you actually made it somewhere. But now you get paid for showing up, apparently. <laughs> but um. But, you know, um, I've been one, I, I do want to see Artifact. I do know of it. Yep. Um, it's going to get 
Netflix somehow. Well, I'm I watched it on um, just I a friend of mine who works with um, iTunes. We just watched it on his TV that had iTunes connected or something. So you oh, can cool. just just do it online like that if you if you want to do that. Mm. But yeah, I couldn't find it online to to view. Mm. Um. Yeah, I'm I'm behind the times with technology. Mm. Um. I, I mean, I've, I've got a laptop, but, you know, hey, it's going through a couple of problems at the moment. I have no idea what to do. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, an, I'm a 90s kid. I'm a product of the 90s. Like yeah. I, I, I love Daria. I love The Simpsons. I love mm -hmm. um, shows and movies in the 90s um, yeah. so much that uh, I, like, centered my whole life around it. And now we're in 2014, I'm... It's like I've wandered out of a space capsule and I have no idea where I am. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I mean, I love shows like Seinfeld, um, mm. Daria, Simpsons. Um, I'm just trying to look past, yeah, um, the monsters, yeah, complete monsters collection. It's 1960s, so that's 30 years behind. Um, you know, shows like Law and Order. Um, yeah, I like very, Law and Order. Mm. Um, I have a very eclectic taste. Um, uh, stuff like Home Alone, mm -hmm. which is always a classic, up to a three and four when I butchered it. Mm -hmm. um, well, you you say you um uh, not really kept up with much stuff, but you know online you're on Twitter all the time. Um, yeah, you keep up to date with people on Twitter, don't you? Yeah, I use it I'm, quite a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Twitter crazy. It's easy to use for me because I do it through text. Because mm -hmm. all I have to do is go to Twitter mobile and send it. Yeah. Text, it's very easy. Which which is also another reflection of how behind the times I am. I don't barely have to lift, lift a finger to connect with people. Um, <laughs> like I'm some kid behind a computer in his mother's basement. Um, <laughs> And um, if anyone wants to connect with Stuart, his Twitter handle is Stuart Havoc, and I'll spell that for you. Um, remember the at symbol. It's S-T-E-W-A-R-T-H-A-V-O-C-K. It's – there's no – I should probably, I should probably um, mention there's no C. It's just H-O-V-O-K. Okay, okay. Sorry. No, sorry. It's, it's – Strange because a lot of people see heavy can you know, H A V O C and mm -hmm. someone as amazing as Davy Heavy comes on and he's got that okay and he's just throwing a C out the window. Um, <laughs> and so what but, do you share on Twitter? Um everything but my life story. Mm -hmm. Although some I think if you troll through my Twitter account it's on there somewhere. Um but you know, um I, I connect with a lot of people who like AFI as much as I do, um, who like same TV shows. Um, I try and keep up to date with. Um, I've had musicians, TV shows. Um, there's I, I follow a lot of friends on Twitter. Um, there's a couple of people I I've known for a couple of years. Um, uh, Gifts for the Geek, comic book store down here, mm -hmm. probably really one of the shiny lights down here. Um, they're, they've been amazing to me and how they've got me into comic books and how they've got me into, um, you know, just, you know, I, I like to be accepted with mm -hmm. a store I accept and then really hasn't been a store in Geelong, the amount of long, too long years I've been living here. Um, but that, you know, it hasn't accepted me the way they have. That's um, good. I, I, I'm friends, well, I'm a good cinema myself friends, um, with everyone in the store. I know mm -hmm. the manager, Darren, like, we've known each other for 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I... I share a lot on Twitter, you know, like if I, if I can't sleep at night, I'm texting there by tweeting online. Mm -hmm. um, and I like, find Twitter's good to connect with people too, like um, like you were saying, you connect with people that like bands or even the, the bands themselves. So I feel 
with Twitter, a lot more people will message you back or connect with you back. Like Facebook, mm. other places don't seem to have that as much. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I found on Facebook you really have to kind of know the people first and foremost. Mm -hmm. um, you can't really, you know, add someone and um, go, hey, you yeah, know, what's up? So, like, mm. it's been, I'm, I'm, I probably can't talk over the same thing. Um, but, you know, it's, yeah, Twitter's more open, and I mm. think, um, like, the, I don't, I mean, I don't follow a million people. I don't have a million followers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think I've only got, like, 17 on there at the moment. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I, I think what I share on Twitter and who I follow and who follows me on Twitter is a reflection of, um, my life in general, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, I just surround myself with whatever makes me happy. Um, yeah. yeah, like Batman. Um, I love the movie Willy Wonka from the Chocolate Factory, which mm -hmm. is to the right of the camera. Um, but yeah, there's yeah you know, so much stuff that I love, all from before this century even began. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, I connect a lot of people with a lot of people on that. Um, and I'm hashtagging probably far more than I should. Um, <laughs> but I just, yeah, I, I, I think about five years ago, I used to be so anti-social media. Like yeah. I, I, I hated Facebook and I hated everything. I just sort of didn't see the need for it. And then when my interests started to broaden themselves out, um, I thought, well, okay, that person's on Twitter, this person's on Facebook, mm. if I want to talk to them, instead of following them halfway around the world, <laughs> um, which I wouldn't <laughs> be able to do anyway, um, um, you know, just go online and connect with them, and, you know, otherwise, um, I... I mean, I'm, I'm not a celebrity, obviously. I might be after this. Um, but, you know, I... The way I look at it is, you know, regarding veganism and regarding this and regarding that, um, you know, it, I mean, it puts you out there more, but it also gives you, a, a, like, an extension of yourself to go, you know, mm. like, for other people to go, because uh, I, I remember about 15 years ago, the people I saw on TV, I, I kept wondering what, you know, it's an example, um, kept wondering what the cast of Woody Ewers were up to. Um, <laughs> so that was one of my favourite shows. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'm, I, I kept thinking, what, what's John Wood up to now? Um, <laughs> you know, and... I remember, I, isn't, I think you know I've been on Twitter a few times and then I've left and um, thankfully the people I talked to I remembered and re have remembered me. Um, but uh, I mean, the amount of people uh, that follow me, just like uh, the amount of vegan pages on Twitter that follow me, it's um, like vegan smart. Um, a great um, entertainer and musician that should really be more well known. Um, yeah, he and I, hmm. um, he and I talk um, a lot on Twitter, mm -hmm. um, and he actually, I know you're not really that much of a fan of petitions, but he signed my um, Band Live Export mm -hmm. um, petition that I've got on there, which is almost reached its full quota of signatures, which is cool. awesome. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, and I think without Twitter, without, or without me being on Twitter or Facebook, I may not have had that platform to go, yeah. okay, well, this guy, you know, he's just a normal, <clears throat> regular, everyday guy who, when he needs to, puts on a funny yellow shirt, dyes his hair red and grabs a carrot and a microphone and he sings. Um, 
I met him and his partner actually in Melbourne at the cruelty free shop opening. Oh, I wish I could have gone to that. Mm -hmm. I really need to be somebody. Um, but um, yeah, the, that platform to go, okay, well, this guy, you know, like I said, is just a regular guy. Um, but, you know, to have his signature on there is pretty cool. Um, mm. I mean, he didn't share it like on Facebook or Twitter because if he did, then, you know, people would just get, you know, undated and I'll walk away. Um, but, you know, I think, I think Twitter's good for a lot of stuff. It can, it's, the way I look at it is, it's kind of like the whole world having a cell phone number, mm -hmm. um, which can be good and bad, you know, depending on who has it. Um, but, you know, there's, there's a lot to Twitter, you know, I think. A lot more positive, more positivity to Twitter eternally than there is to Facebook. It's Definitely. Been Facebook. I think so. But then, you know, you hear people, well, anyone can say anything online, can't they? And sometimes you get some yeah. really horrible things said on Twitter. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm not, I've, um, I think like last week, um, someone um, tweeted me about um, telling me what Peter do sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is not the greatest organisation in the world, um, apparently. Um, but I, like I knew, I've heard some rumblings about what Peter have done and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, so it's like, you know, as you said, some people can be mean on Twitter, but I, mm. I went through that guy's profile and he was pretty much dedicating it to hating on Peter. <laughs> so I knew picking people out and I thought, well, mm. lucky dip, you know, I. There's not, people that I, live just to be like, um, you know, negative towards a person or a group or, you know, mm. that's all they seem to care about, which is a bit sad. Yeah. Um, so, Stu, I mean, how, how would you suggest people get involved with veganism? Uh, well, like I said, um, find, you know, look at what you like, um, whether it's like, a band or... Um, TV show or um, there's a lot of TV stars who are vegetarian and vegan. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favourite shows, Big Bang Theory, um, the lady who plays Amy Farrafella is a vegan mm -hmm. outside of the show and on the show as well, which is a massive success for oh, her. Oh, she's vegan on the show. That's cool. Yeah, she's really passionate about veganism. She's not going to sit there and eat a chicken and go outside mm. and kill herself. I'm vegan. Um, but um, I think to just go out and find something you like um, and go, like, luckily for me, I found AFI mm -hmm. and I delve deeper into their history and um, David's passion for veganism mm -hmm. and his passion unwittingly rubbed off on me because um, he lives to be vegan for pretty much the same reasons I have now. Um, there's a lot more. Um, for, you know, the, the animals, the people, um, the planet and himself. Mm -hmm. And like, he's always been himself in that regard. He hasn't, you know, um, told people, you know, in his song, hey, go vegan, blah, blah, blah. Um, mm. But, you know, I think just find something you like, um, yeah. you know, I mean, 30 Seconds to Mars are a pretty popular band, mm -hmm. um, and they're a pretty good band as well, um, and, you know, it's funny, find something you like and, you know, put that person up on Google, apparently there's nothing sacred on Google, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's find something you like and connect with it and go from there and then, you know, the deeper you get into it, um, you know, you can find message boards where people go, like people are already talking about oh, this person being vegan or that person. Um, you know, I know, I don't know, I read that a lot of people over the years have gone vegan mainly because of the lead singer of AFI. Mm, cool. Um, and, you know, is 
Hi. Hi, Toby, Toby Moss, host of O, Weird Seniors, Vegetarian, and Australia is as far as um, I think putting the positive spin and the positive message of um, vegetarianism and veganism, it's not all about um, what. Regarding some stuff that people, like people think Peter do, it's not about what an organisation or a group does. It's about what you can do to be positive. Mm. No, yeah, how you can positive. use what exists, yeah. Yeah, and to go, okay, well, I don't like what happens in factory farms or mm. animal testing or, um, you know, and stuff like that, and you know, I'm, I was really lucky also to find Animals Australia, and I found a lot of people on there. One of my best friends, um, who's been friends with me for months now, we met um, on there, we just okay. hit it off and shared so many, many interests. Mm-hmm. Um, we'd be here for two hours of a rent room or, um, but you know, just find people who, you know, like the same stuff you do, um. And I think what I've found is not to, is if you have to surround yourself with people who um, are going to put you down, to always remember the people who, uh, to always remember remember why you're doing it. And mm. I, a good friend of mine um, from America um, who loves sci fi as much as I do, um, she's, she said the other night she didn't try to be vegan again. Cool. And I gave her, um, I, I tweeted her with a bit of advice mm-hmm. to make sure you're doing it for you. Mm. Um, as much as I, as much as an inspiration as Davy Happy Kids. Mm. If you, um, I think I remember reading something you said that if not doing it for you, then somewhere along the line the message gets lost and you think, well, if you're not committed to being vegetarianism or veganism or anything, um, then sooner or later you're just going to burn out. Mm. And, you know, over time, you know, the message you'll have, the message you have will fade mm-hmm. based on, um, you know, not based on the fact that you, know, you didn't do it for you. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I can always stand up for what I believe in. Mm. Um, so I think it's another important thing. It's, I think it's something people should be taught from a young age, regardless yeah. of what they're reading. Um, to always, you know, to remember that sometimes if you slip up, it's not the end of the world. Mm. Like, I mean, unless you're around people who are going to throw you out for slipping up. Um, yeah, uh, just do it all at your pace and uh, do the best yeah. you can. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it's I think the best way to approach it is learn something you like, mm-hmm. um, and you know, um, go from there because the more you like, you know, so big bang theory or um, or bones, um, just throwing it out there, um, or the more you like. You spend all your more, the more you like the message or whatever, um, the more you're going to think, yeah, I agree. Um, you know, with, you know, um, I agree with the Smiths, their song made his murder. I mm-hmm. agree with, um, um, oh, no, example. I would mention Gary Urofsky's speech, but I watched it, uh, I think it was earlier this year, and I, Maybe towards the end of last year, and I didn't like it. Um, but it was too overly preachy. I just mm-hmm. shoving the message right in front. Um, it was funny in parts, but um, that I understand what he was trying to do, and what he was trying to do was great. But I think it's coming out wrong um, <laughs> on Twitter. I'm probably going to get scolded for that. Um, but. Yeah, some people have yeah. been really affected by what he's done. Or a lot of people actually. Um, but yeah, I I mean what he was trying to do was great, but I think you know, it just came out wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, 
just Which his is own why, style, maybe. Yeah, like, like, showing the um, positive effects of um, vegetarianism and veganism, um, and then over time leaving the, that person or that group to learn about um, perhaps the. I guess it's in the negative side with the cruelty, because mm. um, sooner or later you're going to actually have to watch some cruelty. Mm. Um, but, you know, there's a lot a lot of people out there who promote it very well, um, like Linda Blair. Mm -hmm. um, she's got her own dog foundation research, I think. Mm. Um, but, you know, people like... Um, it's another reason I don't want to mention the same people over and over. Um, another example, another example. But you're just um, saying find the ones that do it well, find the ones maybe that you um, resonate with the best? Yeah. Um, another person I thought of was um, Natalie Slater, um, who, I mean, isn't a celebrity by any means. Um, she She's a vegetarian, vegetarian and, well, Vegan, whichever one she prefers, um, and she um, runs her own. Um, it's like a food recipe blog or something like cakes and stuff like that. Nachos and all. Do you know what it's vegan. called? Um, Bacon Destroy. Okay. Which is, it's really, I mean, it's really fun. It's a sort of a punk rock spin on veganism, which. Cool appeals to someone like me. Mm -hmm. um, but she is based in <coughs> Chicago. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. Um, she, I mean, she's covered in tattoos, which is another appealing factor. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, she, um, she portrays veganism, vegetarianism, and whatnot, very positively mm -hmm. and, is a, another inspiration of mine. Um, and so, you know, people like her, mm -hmm. and you know, it's like I was like I was saying, I mean, I love punk rock and the ideals and the DIY culture. And um, so to find someone who likes the same music I do mm. and to, um, you know, believes the same stuff I do, um, you know, I think that is a should be the first step who might should take when they want to become vegetarian or vegan mm -hmm. just to find something you like, like yeah. look at your musical interests or whatever mm -hmm. and resonate through that. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, you've given Start. quite a few um, ideas today anyway, Stuart. Thank you. And um, thank you very much for taking the time out to speak with us today. You're and, welcome. Thank you for having me. No problem. And, yeah, make sure you follow Stuart on Twitter at Stuart Havoc, which is Stuart, S-T-E-W-A-R-T-H-A-V-O-K. -E -E Thank you, Stu, and enjoy yeah. the rest of your day. I will. Thank you. You too. See Bye. you.